Welcome to video 5 of the Atom CLI tutorials. Today we're going to go over some of the main commands that are useful for maintaining your Atom instance. For this tutorial, we're assuming that you've already followed video 1 and you've installed Vagrant. Here I've also logged into my application already. We'll be following along in the administrator's manual in our documentation. All of this is in the maintenance section. Some of these are in the command line tools. There's also a page specifically for cache clearing and repopulating the search index. I've got these open in other tabs so we can refer to them quickly. Let's start with clearing the application cache. The basic way to do this as recorded in the documentation is to enter PHP Symphony cache colon clear. This will clear out the application cache. Note that there is a simplified way to do this or a sort of shorthand by entering PHP Symphony CC. This has the same effect as typing cache colon clear. Depending on your setup, you may also want to clear out the opcode cache that PHP 5FPM maintains. There's two ways of doing this as well. The first is to type sudo slash etc slash init.d slash php-5 php fpm reload. Another way to do this is to restart PHP 5 FPM as a service. Type sudo service PHP 5 FPM restart. There are other services that you may want to restart from time to time, such as your web server. If you followed our default install instructions, or if you're using our Vagrant box, this is Nginx. We can restart this as a service as well. To do so, type sudo service nginx restart. Additionally, Atom 2.2 and above comes with its own asynchronous jobs management tool. We have this in our documentation in the installation section as asynchronous jobs and worker management. Below the initial installation instructions, you'll also find some useful commands for managing the jobs worker. If we want to restart the Atom jobs worker, we can type sudo restart Atom worker. That's Adam Dash Worker. If we also want to see the status of whether or not our worker is running, we can type sudo status Adam Dash Worker. Now let's look at one of the most basic useful commands in Adam repopulating the search index. This is especially useful if you're doing large-scale imports, for example. Those are covered in CLI video number 6. To populate the search index, we'll type PHP Symphony search colon populate. This will take all the records in the database and add them to Elasticsearch so that they are discoverable through the user interface. Rebuilding the nested set can be useful when you've done operations that affect hierarchies, such as in the tree view. If you've completed a large move or delete or addition, for example, sometimes the nested set can be corrupted. This can cause problems in the tree view. 
we can rebuild the nested set by typing php symphony propel colon build dash nested dash set. Occasionally, if you were doing an import or some other task that involves the creation of new records and this aborts, sometimes you might need to regenerate the slugs or permalinks as they are sometimes called in the application. Before we show you this task, I want to show you how in Atom 2.3 you can actually customize the slugs through the user interface. As we see here, I've imported duplicates of a series of records. When records are imported to Atom, a slug or permalink is assigned to them. For descriptions, this is based on the title of the resource. Here, Atom has appended the number 2 since a resource already existed with the existing permalink and a slug must be unique. If we want to change this through the user interface, we can go to the Rename button. Here we'll be given a user interface where we can edit the slug. I'll enter my own custom slug here. We'll refer back to this later when we use one of the options on the slug command to see how this is affected. Now we get a notification at the top of the page saying our description has been updated and we can see that our custom permalink or slug has now been added to the resource. This will automatically update the search index so this record is still discoverable. Now let's take a look at the Generate Slugs task. The basic way to run this command is php symphony propel colon generate dash slugs. This will run through any existing resources and add slugs where they are missing. Note that when run this way, existing slugs will not be deleted. Once you've run this task, you'll have to repopulate the search index. We'll enter PHP Symphony search colon populate to do so. If I want to run this command again and delete the existing slugs as the task progresses, I can do so by adding dash dash delete as an option to the end of the command. Note, however, that one of the effects of this will be that any custom slugs that you have added that are different than the default slugs assigned during creation in Atom will be overwritten. When the task is run, Atom will reassign slugs based on the title for archival resources. We'll go take a look at the description whose slug we edited earlier to see this in action. Here we are back in Atom. If I click on my description here, you can now see that our custom slug is gone. In its place, the default slug has been added, but since a resource with this name already exists, the number has been appended on the end to make it unique. We've now covered some of the basic maintenance tasks that are useful for resolving problems in your Atom instance. In the future, we'll cover more tasks. Stay tuned for more videos. And remember, you can always find instructions for this in the Atom documentation in the Administrator's Manual.